Texas, I'm Sydney Eisenberg, and these are the top five stories that made your headlines this week. A feral hog weighing 488 pounds was killed in the preserve in Liberty County, according to the Blue Bonnet News. Joel Dudley, owner of Nuisance Wildlife Removal, was hunting the hogs with his friend Mike Huckabee when they came across a group of hogs clustered around one of the community's ponds. Now the two say they were eradicating the feral hog population because they were so overpopulated. A Texas teen went viral after catching a 190 pound alligator gar in the Brazos River. Jack Pytel was trying to catch a catfish when he reeled in something much bigger. The gar was 7 feet 5 inches long and weighed 190 pounds. Texas Parks and Wildlife says the state record for an alligator gar catch is 302 pounds and was set back in 1953. Baylor Lady Bears head coach Kim Mulkey has once again proven she is one of the greatest of all time after she clinched her 600th win on Tuesday. Mulkey is the fastest D1 coach, man or woman, to reach 600 wins in 700 games. That's right, her record as a coach is 600 to 100. Mulkey was named a finalist for the 2020 Basketball Hall of Fame, along with Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, and Kevin Garnett. Shark lovers, listen up. You can take a train through a 200,000 gallon tank full of them. Houston's downtown aquarium offers visitors the option to jump on the Shark Voyager train and get up close and personal with the sharks. While on the train, you can get a full view as sharks swim around you. All day adventure passes for the aquarium are $22 for adults and $21 for children. Now we all know Texas weather may be crazy, but it has allowed one popular destination to open up early this year. Sweetberry Farm in Marble Falls is now open, but they say it's incredibly important to read their fresh news daily for their farm conditions. Now this is the earliest they have ever opened. Strawberries are $2.99 per pound. And if strawberries aren't your thing, don't worry, you can also pick up tulips in their tulip field. Now those are the top five stories that made your headlines this week. For more information, check out our website at kxxv.com or just give us a like on our Facebook page at 25 News.